Here we go, boys. There it is. Okay. God damn, I love this little animation. Welcome, guys. It is the X Man here, and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved with some more la 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 burst. Yeah, boy, look at that. We could do backflips while holding Jim in our hand. When he wakes up, he is going to be sore. I mean, his legs like up in his butt right now. He's switching all over the place. I did not realize we could backflip with unconscious bodies in a hand. Oh man, I love this game sometimes. I really do love this game. All right, Jim, you can you can stay there. Um, yeah, you, you'll be fine. So, what we're doing today is we're going to be creating an Indominus Rex, and I am excited for this, boys. We're also going to be creating our very own lab at back of the castle. So, right now, we're back in the community town village area. God damn, I do miss this place. I don't know why. I've, I've spent, like, a good few days away from here, and then I come back, and it just... Oh, I love it, man. I get to see Jim. I get to teabag his face a little. Oh, cool. So... <laughs> Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to create our own lab back at the castle. Because we have used this one before. This is one Syntax set up. This is like a community use one. But obviously, we want to use or like make our own one because, you know, content and stuff. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to use this engineering station. We need to put gasoline in it. I just like had a quick play around to see what we need. And we need to create a DNA extractor, a DNA synthesizer, a DNA sequencer, and a... Jim incubator. A Jim. <laughs> that's what that's called. So, uh, if we turn this on, should be able to start creating some of these. Alright. We're gonna have enough stuff for all of it. Oh, we've gotta wait out a second. And boom. I'm gonna create one of these as well. And we might need to make some straight electrical cables, which can we do that in our person? Cable. No, I think we have to go to the S plus thingy me doodle for that. Uh, was it straight up cables? Is that what it said? All right, let me make them. It was either straight up or straight across. And I forgot already. Got some cables, put them into here. Structures, crafting, create one of these. Uh, titties. It was the horizontal ones. Of course it was, Axe. <laughs> Sometimes I have the memory of a goldfish. Okay, now this is going to be enough. I blame Jim. Jim didn't tell me what I was doing. Jim's here meant to help me, and he just didn't. All right, so make one of them. Uh, straight electric cable. God damn it, I made S plus ones! <laughs> it's not S plus, they're regular ones. Oh my god. Okay, hang on. Uh, do we make straight cables in here? Or is that a fabrication thingy Uh It's a fabrication. Okay, this time? Maybe? I'm sure some of you were screaming then. Also, Miniax, why are you not on me? Yeah, that's, that's better. I feel lonely without you, dude. Um, also, some of you eagle-eyed viewers might see some in my infantry just then. We'll get round to that. Don't worry. Uh, all right, put that in there. Crafting. Making one of these. There we go. That, like, auto-crafted for some reason. Cool. So, we've got boom, 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 boom. Now, I do believe we're going to need one of these. Which we're gonna craft. Because I believe this is where we make this stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, actually. I'm gonna borrow these. I'm just gonna borrow a couple of them. And then I'll definitely bring them back. So, yeah. There we are. The lab is built. So what we could do is we could go back to the castle. We can show some of the stuff and things off before we get started. And we can build our lab. But let's grab Jim. Because this only works with Jim. Before we do that, if you do enjoy the episode, make sure you are whacking a like on the video. If you, especially if you're enjoying my ball sack just sliding all over Jim's face right now. I don't know what that was, but that was terrifying. Yeah, make sure you're whacking a like. Make sure you're subscribing. You ring the bell with every notification. Following all the social medias. There is an Alpha Carno at the top of the base there. If we just ignore it, I'm sure that will go away. Uh, make sure you follow in all the social medias. And if you do want to support the channel a little bit more, you can become a channel member or a patron. I do appreciate it. Also, I'm going to get a little soppy here. I want to say thank you very much for the support on the recent videos because I've just had some, like, really nice comments. And I'm one of them people that read the comments before I go to bed. I know you're not meant to do that, but I do. And I don't know. It's just nice to see so many of you still enjoying the content. I know Ark... 
and then we're all waiting for ASA and Ark is it what it used to be kind of thing you know what I'm saying like we're all we're all itching and ready to go for ASA but you're all still hanging out you're enjoying what we're putting out and uh, yeah thank you very much to all of you lot watching and all the lovely comments i do i appreciate it massively why is my man looking so m majestic is that the word like i don't know photogenic like how he's just stood there waiting for my castle to load in like i don't know you know he's like side on he's looking up looks kind of like a superhero would or something i don't know <laughs> it just looked a little I don't know. Anyways, right. So we're here. We are back at the castle. So yeah, before we make the lab, just got a couple things to show off. Number one, just a couple of creatures we've named because I feel like I forget to show this off uh, quite a lot of times. So number one, we do have Red Riot, who is our rock elemental. So this is the second creature named after the uh, My Hero Academia anime. Someone suggested that and I was like, yes. That is perfect. Uh, the big rock, well, not big, but the rock kid in uh, My Hero. And then we have our Giga Twins. And again, I mean, you lot loved that episode, and I'm glad because a lot of work went into it. The Giga Twins. Now, there was loads of name suggestions, really, really good ones. But one of them just tickled my fancy a little bit. And I, it doesn't really work that much, but for me, it does. So actually, we can do it with end. Here we have Tea and Crumpets. So, because, you know, I'm not in the UK anymore, but I miss the UK every now and then. Just just random bits and pieces. And tea and crumpets is actually one of the things I do miss. Um, like a good old-fashioned tea and some crumpets. God damn, I haven't had crumpets in well over a year. Oh, they're, they're just good, man. So, yeah, there were some really good names, but I feel like we're using these definitely as twins. So, tea and crumpets go well together. I do love that a lot. And then the last thing, um, cupcakes here. Not here. Cupcake's here. She was just in my base. I, I, it, what, she wasn't there the other day. So either someone found her or she ran back. I, I, I just, I don't know really what happened. So, um, yeah. Cupcake's back. How are you... What? How, how are you damaged? How is just these two rugs damaged? I don't know. But anyway, Cupcake has returned i don't know what happened but she's back and that's all that matter you know what yeah sit down you just sit there act all cute cupcake so now we have cupcake we have lactose who i almost got scared because i couldn't see him but lactose is in the infantry we've got lactose uh you just scoot back a little we've got pickles ah uh, we've just got all the boys all the boys and the girls back together a lot of you are asking for kevin the horse maybe we can sneak that in at some point and there's that stupid Cardonosaurus. God damn. Um, that video hasn't come out since I'm recording this. So, uh, yeah, name suggestions for that will be very soon. All right. Anyways, let's crack on with making this lab. So, um, yeah, we're going to make another Indominus Rex. God damn, I am excited for this. So, this is going to be our little lab space just here. Um, we've already got a chemistry bench because I feel like that's kind of labish. So we're going to have this like so. So that's the station. And then we're going to have the DNA sequencer. I might have this over here. I don't want this like too far away from the wall. Is that good? That's pretty spot on right there, boys. And then we've got these big free machines. So this is the... Wait, what was that one? That's the secret. So this is the synth synthesizer or whatever. God, there's lots, lots of S's all over the place. Um, I guess you could go here. You kind of stick out a bit, actually. Okay. Like that, maybe. Uh, yep. If you've not got OCD, then that's absolutely fine. And then we have these big boys. So I might have this one over here. Like so. And then this is one that creates the egg. Kind of want this like just here. Like in the corner. Just ignore the glitchy ground. That's just the building stuff. But is that like too far away from all of this? Nah, I don't think it is. I think that's fine. All right. So here is our lab then. This is where we're going to be creating dinosaurs. We will definitely fill in this spot with some other little bits and pieces to make it more 
Flabbish, which I, I'm definitely using that. That's definitely a word we can use. So what we need to do is I need to find out what I did with that indom rib. I'm pretty sure it's upstairs. And then we're going to have to go and tame. Uh, I think it might be in here. Uh, indom. No, it's not in there. Is it in here? Is this it? Okay, there it is. Oh, I thought I lost it then. Um, I was going to say something. I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to go tame some Rexes today because apparently uh, someone said they did get some like max level Raptors. And I think they actually imprinted them and mutated the Raptors to use uh, for whichever stage it is. I forget what it is. I think it's actually here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, the fertilized raptor eggs. Someone said they did actually get mutated ones, imprinted ones, and their raptor came out of like a 201. So um, yeah, definitely gonna have to get a couple rexes and I think even breed them up once or twice just to get imprints to make them better. We're going to actually head back to the community base, see if we've got any standard Rexes, because I know we've got Paleo ones, but not normal ones. But yeah, that is what it is. So in here, we should just throw this, throw that, turn this on, and that should create some more of this stuff, uh, which is a small extractant of Indom DNA. This is not a pure DNA strand, meaning you must use this to make 100% Pure DNA. Interesting. This is definitely working, right? Uh, yep, there's five. And it's definitely 20. It's not like they've updated it. Is it in here we need this? Yeah, still just 20. Perfect. All right, there is the 20 Indom stuff we need. Good shit. So let me just double check everything we need. So to get this, we need an Indom genome. Genome is very different from the Indom genome. One, just an alternative way to craft. Uh, so I need pure Indom vial, which is this one, which is just the twinner. Or you could go the other way and, like, create it using different stuff, apparently, which is kind of cool. So we're going to put that in here. We're going to put that in here. We're going to turn that on. We're going to craft this. So we get all the non-pure DNA, I guess, and you turn it into this thing. But, yeah, otherwise you can make... Rex DNA, Verizino, Raptor, Giga, and Carno. And do you put all of that into here? Yeah. So you put all of that into there to make the Indom genome. That's kind of cool. So then you don't actually have to go around fighting an Indom. That's sick, man. That's really cool. All right. So this is going to take a hot second. So now we have a vial of white milky substance. Good stuff. So we can turn that off. And then in here, we put this, uh, turn on, and create this. So we're now putting white milky substance and making this white milky substance. And then we just need to get a fertilized Rex egg. Does this say anything about the eggs? In order to hatch, place this egg into the Gumher incubator and hatch it. This specifically genetically created egg. Crafted. <laughs> egg can only be hatched in the incubator. Fertilized eggs obtained breeding can be hatched normally. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't, like, say. I feel like it should probably tell us that somewhere. Like, hey, don't get two level one Rex eggs because it's not going to be worth it. Um. All right, six. I don't believe this has a spoiler on it, but I'm going to wait just in case it does. So once that's done, we're going to go... Oh, yeah, look, it's making something there. I forgot about that. We're going to go back to the little community base. We're going to see if there's any Rexes lying around. I have a feeling Jim tamed a really high level, maybe max level Rex, like early days. So we'll have to go fishing through just his base, which has just got everything everywhere. So we'll definitely have to see in a minute. Cool. Perfect. No spoiler time. So we can just leave that as it is. Um, okay. Do I have avocado on me? I do. Right. What we're going to do is let's go see if we can find some Rexes. All right, Jim. What have you got hiding in your base? Uh, got a tiger lying there. All right. So there's only 14 stuff. So we've got bears. Um, is that it? Is that, is that all we've got in here? Just some bears. There's 44 stuff in here. Okay. Let's do Rex. Uh, bone armor. No Rex in there. Uh, what about this big locker? Surely there's a, a Rex in there. No Rex in there either. 
Oh my god. Well, that's how many times he's died. That's probably not all the times he's died. There's definitely more than that. Um, okay. So, no regs in here. These are just the razor teeth. Uh, what are we going to have in here, maybe? I just don't feel like anyone's tamed them. We've got some wolves. Are we going to have more wolves? I think this is Evo's crazy wolf breeding. Yep, more wolves as well. Diplos for whatever reason. And some more Diplos. Uh, it's not looking... It's not looking good here. What about in here? Some bears. All right, it looks like we're going to have to go and tame us a couple Rexes. Um, all right, I mean, it is what it is. That's that's fine. It, it'd be done pretty easy, actually. So let's go grab some kibble. Uh, do I have any dots left? No, I do not have any darts. Do we have any darts at all? We have a handful. There was 30 I just pulled from somewhere. So we're going to steal them. Because what we can do is we can use Nice Guy to knock them out a little bit. And then just you know, finish them off with... Uh, do any narcotics at all? Uh, we've got some in there, so we'll take it. All right, sick. So what we're going to do, we're going to fly around. We're going to look for preferably 180s. I mean, there are so many Rexes on this map that there's bound to be a handful of max level ones obviously um obviously <laughs> we've got to make sure they're regular ones and not evo paleo ones like that that's going to be the only problem i have found a 174 and honestly i'm gonna just snag this dude just in case we don't find one better this could be like backup plan uh so let's get night sky out let's show the world what you are made of. Uh, also, let's go and pop some of these in here before I do forget. All right, Mr. Rex, I'm going to knock you out with just a horse. Boom, boom. It's going to take five hits, right? Just got to make sure we don't kill you, which you are very nearly dead already. Uh, maybe one more and then we can shoot you. Can you stop biting me, please? Okay, cool. So this is why we brought the dots. So now, instead of whacking you in 500 damage... You knock you out this way. And you are running. Cool. Maybe. Are you running? Yeah, you're running. All right. Maybe you should have brought some more darts. I thought these would be well easy to knock out. There we go. Good shit. All right. I see some bugs somewhere. Get out of here, bugs. I don't want you here. All right. Cool. So there's Rex down. Uh, that's the 174. Like I said, if we don't find two 180s, then I guess this would do. So this is a male. Let's go and chuck some kibble onto you. Are you going to need that much kibble? Okay, we are back, and we do have a female 180 Rex. Apparently, this is just a Rex hillside because we've got a 162 Paleo kind of stuck in there. There's another Rex down here, which is like a 72 Paleo Rex, kind of again stuck in the mountain. And then we've got another one stuck in the mountain, which is a female 180, which is what I've been looking for. Um, what are you eating? There's just horses stuck in the mountains. Uh, all right, Mr. Rex, can you... I don't know. Can we get your attention? There we go. Get you unstuck. Can I land here before you come and eat me? I'm sure I can. All right, boom. Go away. Night sky, come out. All right, I'm just like a god at arc sometimes. Yeah, that's it. Eat the sheep. All right, so we've got... Okay, can't even hit you. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All right couple more hits on you okay struggling a little the rex has that nasty knockback boom boom one more maybe sir please stop that's it okay now we're going to shoot you with this okay still aggressive even though we hit you a few times there's that one now nah, you're running oh god oh he's a rock climber how are you doing that with such little hands you know actually yeah this would be good oh god oh this is not good oh how am i meant to get to you Sir, yep. night sky, come on, you got this. Yeah. Missed. Amazing. Sir, I need you to go sleep. Uh, yeah. Okay. And one more. Before we get to that other Rex. Yeah. Right. Did I hit you as you was falling asleep? Because it looked like I did. Titties. Are you... I shot and he fell. Or she fell. We, uh, hmm, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Ah, <sighs> goddammit. Okay, well, 
we're gonna have to wait for that one to wake up because we can't tame it now. Not to fear. Another 180 female Rex. Okay, that one actually didn't take us too long to find. It's pretty good. In a... Not a bad area. Better than being up in the mountains. All right. Take number two for female Rex. Oh, you do not have much help. You're getting very blooder. Okay, uh, that's a grapple axe. Right, we've got to be a little bit more careful this now. Oh, you are very bloody. We're not going to kill you, are we? Uh, hopefully not. You need to start running, please. Oh, you're not even running. Um, I'm a little worried here. Okay, now you're running. Okay, so is your torpor still going up? Oh, you are very hurt. If I kill this, I'm going to be really mad. And knock out. There we go. All right. Are you going to be better than that one over there? God, that's not lost much torpor. I mean, it doesn't matter. If you're a you're the female, right? So we can pop this on. So yeah, night levels. Perfect. Okay, so you have some of this. You have 12 of that. Okay, sweet. So we've got a, we do have a female and a male down. Uh, I am going to keep searching just in case we can find a 180 male. Not exactly a 180 male. Uh, we have another 174 male just below us trying to chase a Tranodon. Uh, close, but no cigar. Well, we have another 180, but this one's a female. Uh, so we can't actually use it. We don't care for the stats, so it really doesn't matter. But, um, uh, yeah, just proving that, you know, the amount of Rexes that spawn on this map, the 180s are pretty easy to find, especially for Rexes. But, uh, yeah, not exactly what we're looking for. I'll keep searching until, like, both of these have tamed up. If we don't find a male 180, uh, then I guess we'll stick with these two. But uh, I'll, I'll keep searching anyway, because, I mean, what else am I going to do? Just sit around and wait. <laughs> All right, we found it, boys. Um, <laughs> gone right back to the start. Our base or our community base is just up there. Uh, might have to grab him before he starts attacking that Bronner real quick. Uh, that is a, a male. Oh, he's attacking the Bronner. Cool. Male 180 just there. Let's see if I can help you out. Although you shouldn't struggle. You're a, you're a max level. You'll be fine, right? It's almost dead. Helping you out here, bro. Uh, you can get shit on, Bugs. You don't need to be here. All right, sweet. So it looks like the female's tamed over there. Oh, whatever. No, that's the male. That's the male 174. Uh, you're going to have a lot of health. Oh, okay, no more kicks. All right. So now, a couple more these. Of course, I missed because apparently your tail is not a hitbox. All right, so let's make sure we don't mess this one up because this is the last piece of the puzzle we're going to need for today. All right, it's running. It's running and shoot and you're out. Oh, I don't like this. And you're running. You're running. Oh, good job we didn't shoot it then. That was a really weird noise I made then. <laughs> Real quick, just before we grab our last Rex, I just want to show you something a little bit crazy off. Uh, down there is a whole pack of Rexes. Um, we have a 168. We have a 180 female again. Uh, there's also a 108, and I think there's also a Paleo one in there. There's four Rexes. Can we see a little bit better? There's four Rexes in this little cluster here. One Paleo, three regular ones. A max level female, a 168 male... God damn, that would have been a perfect little cluster to find before we tamed all of our ones. I just thought I'd show that off because that's crazy. I've never seen four Rexes all huddled together in a tiny spot. That's crazy. Last Rex has tamed up. It's going to go snag him. Then we can bring everyone back home and get some breeding going. So boom, grab you. You got any kibble left? Did we grab that kibble? I think we sure did. All right, six. So we've got uh, the 260, which was the 174. We've got the 269 and the 269, both 180. Both got all their taming stuff and things. Uh, 39, 37, 28, 41. I don't know if any of this matters at all. So, uh, yeah, let me just go drop this kibble off. Uh, we'll get back to the castle. We'll breed a few eggs. I mean, I, I, I don't... I just don't know how the egg thing actually works. I guess we'll just breed a couple and just randomly choose and hope he gets the best possible indom. 
All right, we've done a few eggs. So this is what we're going to do. So we've hatched out a perfect female, which is a 295, kept all the good stats and whatnot. Hatched out a semi-perfect male. So we just lost some uh, points into food, which obviously we don't care about. So now if we raise them, breed them up, their babies are either going to have her stats or his stats, which is going to be better than having either one of their stats. And I think that's going to make the Indominus Rex just better. I feel like it will anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to raise these two up. Uh, if we do get a perfect male in the meantime, I'll probably just quickly switch that out. But um, I don't want to wait around forever for that to happen. So we'll just kind of see what happens. I will get the imprints on these as well just in case that helps for whatever reason uh i guess we could just have a quick last little look just in case we do get a perfect male in here it should be a 295 uh come on perfect male we did good shit bro <laughs> i just needed you like here that's all i wanted um right you can go away don't need you anymore looks like we're gonna get a perfect male out of female good shit all right cool let me get all that sorted then i'll bring you back uh, i guess we don't need juice anymore and uh yeah we'll see how this all plays out and we're back for maybe the final time today we'll see how that goes uh you guys just stop mating for now so we have a fertilized rex egg so if we come into here that's all we need so this is from the 295 rex parents the perfect male and the female they're both imprinted just in case that helps so if we turn this on, we're going to create an egg. We have egg. There we go. It's an Indominus Rex egg. And then in here, this is where we hatch it. I do need some power, right? Do I need a couple of these or just the one of these? I'm going to grab two. Just in case like we start hatching and it breaks. You know what? To be fair, I'll just bring it all. I don't need it in there anymore. Uh, or is it gas? Nope. Power cells. Cool. Okay, are we ready for this? Also, this needs to be a male. If this is not a male, then big rip. But if it's not a male, at least we can see if the Rexes being max level and stuff actually make a difference. So with our Indom, or our, uh, Indoraptor, sorry, we got a 165, was it? Syntax, he used max level Raptors or just shy of max level. He got a 180. So let's see what happens. Uh, we have to go on you, click hatch. Here we go, boys. There it is. Okay. God damn, I love this little animation. He's climbing out the egg. Come on. So if it changes colors... Oh, God. Oh. Oh. The little... Oh, God. Cool. The thing just picked it up. I feel like that was a girl. Please be a male. Please be a male. Please, 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 please. It was a female. It came out as a 131. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. That's awful. Ah, uh, shit. It got 14 into health, 17. Wow, so it's completely random. It does not matter. Huh. Interesting. Right, so let's say I wanted to create this without the Indom vial. We would have to use this, which is the pure stuff. I think we can go back home and grab all of this. We need to make so many Kano arms. Oh, we need 75. Um, Giga hearts. So I guess we get five for each. So we're going to need four Giga hearts, Alpha claws, Rex arms. There is Xeno Claws. Right. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if we have that stuff. Because I think we can make another one of these doing it without the uh, the pure stuff. We can just make it this way. Yeah. We should have enough of all of this stuff. Because we've got Alpha Arms, Raptor Claws. I mean, obviously, we don't need all of these. I don't know if we need the Arms or the Alpha Teeth. But we've definitely got a bunch of them we need. We've got the hearts. What else was it? Verizino claws. So I think that should be all we need. Unless I miss some. Uh, we're just going to borrow this. Uh, Jim? Jim, uh, do you... Uh, will we find borrowing this? You've got any... Um, oh, God, there's his foot. If anyone wants to see a, a gym foot, then if you that are into that, there you go. Look at them dirty feet. God damn. Uh, Jim, if you are not happy with me taking this stuff, then speak up. Nope. All right. I think we're good. All right. Let's do a flip with his foot in my hand. 
Oh, oh, okay. We can't flip when it, we hold his foot. Interesting. All right. So stuff and things have been made. So just so you lot know if you're going to do this uh, by yourself, the Rex teeth and the arms count for the apex drop. So that's why we have 116 of that. Um, so we've got 75 of all the other stuff we need. I did, I did have to go and kill one Verrazino um to get that extra claw but um yeah we've got all the giga stuff we need now i believe this is gonna be really heavy so i'm gonna want to slowly transport some things over here because now we've got to make all of this stuff does that just auto craft all right so we've got them ones can i carry 100 rex ones we don't need the 100 rex but you know for anyone in the future we have leftovers uh the gigas i think we only needed 20. for some reason i thought we needed 40. yeah we only needed 20 of them so we've got double giga ones left over and last but not least the kana one all right so this is going to take about seven hours for that to craft up but once that's done we use all of that stuff to create this genome and then we just put another egg in and then hopefully we get something better than that <laughs> that stupid female. Also, I'm actually going to turn that machine off so um, we can actually see it in action and it jump out and it all look cool and stuff. All right, last little bit. Then we've got to pick us an egg. So which one of these eggs is going to give us the best indom? It's going to be this middle one just here. I'm sure of it. So all we've got to do now is do the milky substance, mix it with the egg. Boom, a baby is made. Shut up, dodo. All right, and let's freaking go. We're going to take that. We're going to take that. We could turn that off. Okay, let's see. Second try. Is this going to be any better? So we're going to do hatch egg. All right, did we hatch it in the dark last time? I feel like we did. All right, so it's going to do his little climb out. So we've now created this with pure Indom DNA and also a mixture of stuff. So again, we'll see if this makes a difference at all. All right. Hey, oh, oh, we got twin boys. Uh, they're only 151, though. Oh, actually, this is a level one. Wait, what? Dodo, shut up. What do you mean we got a level one? Okay, was not expecting twins. All right, let's get away from that. Actually, wait, are you turned off? Let's turn that off. Let's head away from all the screaming dodos. Did we seriously get a level one? 151. We did. Wow. Look at its stat points. Zero, 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 zero. I mean, I feel like I need to keep that just because that's amazing. So, I mean, it's better than the female and it's obviously the male we need. The colors are pretty cool. Um, hmm. Interesting. So, Syntax must have just got very lucky with his 180. And the person that comment lied to me. But maybe they got very, very lucky and got a level 200 in summer. So, pretty much it's better to tame one if you find a high level one. Because obviously you guarantee that level. But obviously it's very, very, very hard to tame this dude. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's get into little raise up breeding area. We're going to raise this dude up. I wish it was morning so I could see a bit better. Because if we if we throw you out right now... I thought you was... Wait, are you pink or are you red? Why do you look pink with cyan colours now? Because that's gorgeous. Hang on, let me throw you out. Are you the same colour? Oh, yeah, you're red. They're different colours. You're red and black. Do they change colour every time you put them in a Pokeball? Bro, we got some badass colours. Let me see. If this changes now, I'm going to be pissed because they were really nice colours. No? Why are you so pretty? Okay, right. I'm going to raise these up. We'll see what they look like and maybe we'll have a very quick breed. Like, we'll breed them once to get an imprint version and then play around with it because obviously that's what we're all here for. All right. I'll be right back. And we're back, boys, and indoms are all raised up. Let's have a look at these beauties. So I did raise that female up just in case something happened to our other one. Um, obviously, it's just standard boring colors. But here are the males. And again, colors. I mean, this has a bit of green on it. I didn't realize it was like green when it was a baby. But yeah, we've got green and red. Uh, a bit of black on the top looks amazing. But this one, like, they're my colors. I always have creatures that are that color. So that is just absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do is we're going to breed that one with you. So let's get you all over here then. Um, Rex is just going to need you to skedaddle for a second. So 
Um, yeah, so it looks like we've got, like, lavender color. We've got some orange in places. I'm not sure. Oh, saddle-wise, 200, 200, 200, 200. So the level one even got 200. Interesting. All right, anyways, <laughs> just kind of looking at all the different things. So got you out. I'm going to have the 280, and then you should mate. I mean, the Indoraptors mated. They didn't have a problem. Yep, there we go. All right, cool. So what we'll do, um, we'll just grab the first egg, and that could be our guinea pig one to test it all out. And then what we'll do is we'll definitely go and, like, you know, get ourselves a perfect male and a female, or as best as we can actually get. And then I'm thinking, I, I don't know, do I want to try for another couple eggs to try and get a better dude here? Or do we just start going for mutations? Because really, it's not going to matter too much, right? They're going to be strong regardless. I don't know. I'll think about it over the next coming days. All right, there's the egg. That's going to pick it up. We can hatch this one. You know what? I'll hold it for you right now. This is going to be the worst egg ever imaginable. All right, and that didn't pick it up because I have it turned off. Good job, Axe. Okay, tried to grab you. Uh, so we've got a 242. To be fair, not too bad. What were you, a 280? Okay. Okay. Um, Stat-wise, is it? It's gonna have half decent stats, right? Um, it got all the female stats. I think that's a perfect female. <laughs> is that a per? That no, nah, really? Okay, so the first baby we got is a perfect one. Uh, you know what we want? We want this one. All right, let me raise this up then, and we'll take it out for a spin. See how much damage we do with like the imprint and stuff like that. We are ready to go then. So 827 is our base damage. Now, I'm trying to compare this as best I can to like the Gigas, even uh, Grapevine, the, fi the Filer. So the Filer with the 100 plus points. Oh, can't eat you. Where are you? There you are. Filer with the mutations and all that stuff. We had like, what, 100 points into melee. Does 900. So we're already doing more damage than that. Now, the Gigas. Is that a nest down there? Hang on a second. What is this? What is that? Oh, it's a campfire. Oh, it's Evo's campfire. Um, what was I about to say? The Gigas we have, the Payload Gigas, obviously we've mutated them a lot. I, I have a feeling we might get better than them. Because they do how much damage? Like 3,000, whatever it is. Like, we have the bleed attack. We've got the bite attack. We have other attacks, which I'm, I'm just going to forget. We can pick stuff up. We can go invisible. Uh, all right. How does one pick stuff up in the mouth? Was it like alt, control, alt, left? Is it alt, left, click? No. Control, alt. I don't know. There, there's a button to pick stuff up in a mouth, right? See? And that goes invisible. I don't know. I'll have to look up the damage stuff later on. So, uh, eight, two, six. Seven. So, if I was to start putting some levels... Uh, I mean, obviously, we're going to go melee, right? Let's just do all 14 levels into melee right now. So, we've got 51,000 health. We've got 200 saddle. Uh, we've got a couple Kentros here. So, 1,000 damage. That's, that's pretty damn good. I mean, my Giga Twins are better at the minute. But we only have... What was it? Like, 30 points into melee? If we get that up to 100 and then start leveling up, I think we're going to be more or less as strong. I just don't know if I want to try and breed some high-level ones. I'm not sure. What do you think I should do? We can either look for one in the wild and tame one that's a really high level, or we just try and create a couple more and hope that we get a really high-level one. I, I don't know, man. I feel like we should just stick with what we've got. Get a perfect male and a female and then just like, you know, do what we did with the Gigas and breed them over the next few weeks and see what we get. Because we're obviously we're just going to go for like the health and the stamina and the melee again and create like the ultimate indom. I think between Grapevine, me Gigas, even my Gummy Bear and then this and then me Indoraptor as well. Oh, we're going to create some crazy. I think I might, what, what I'm going to do is we'll breed these and the Indoraptors. You know, get to 100 mutations in melee and health. If I feel like it, we can even go a little higher. I I think we should do that, right? Maybe get some nice color mutations. I mean, we've already got the beautiful colors on the male that I'd probably keep, to be fair. I did not realize that we can harvest wood. 
I did not realize we harvested that much wood either. All right. Well, there we go. Can we do a raw? What's the raw? Is it right click? X. One of these is a raw. Whatever I just pressed. What's that? There we go. God damn. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to wrap it up. We're going to call it a day there. I know we didn't test this out much, but there was a lot going on beforehand in terms of taming Rexes and stuff. But um, what did we learn today? It doesn't matter what level them Rexes are. It's not going to matter what level the Raptors are when you do the Indo Raptors. So just go ahead and grab whichever ones you want. We tested it for science. Clearly doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do then, I, in my spare time, I will get a perfect male and a female of this. I will do the same for me, Indo Raptor. We're going to start the breeding. And then what we'll do is we'll bring you back, uh, you know, like every other episode, I'll show you the progress we've made on what we're doing. Uh, we'll probably aim for 100 mutations, you know, 100 points into the health, melee, whatever we get into stamp. I might go a bit high depending on how much time and stuff we have. But, uh, yeah. Indominus Rex breeding has begun. We've now got the Indoraptor breeding. Oh, we're, go we're going places, man. We are going places. So if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you are whacking a like. Make sure you are subscribing. You ring the bell. Never any notifications. Following the social medias. Oh, my God. That was terrifying then. Um, becoming a channel member. Becoming a Patreon. Thank you very much for hanging out. I'll catch you in a bit. See you later. Bye.